Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. The vanity code, one word, is Dwyer Boxing News. The name of that site is Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Right? On iTunes, one word, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now just imagine, let's pretend for a moment, just imagine that you're a celebrity, right? Relatives you don't know are calling you, asking you for money. You leave your Bel Air crib, you take out the trash, you run an errand to the store, you come back, paparazzi is going through your trash looking for controversial things. Just imagine, you go to a restaurant, you're with a friend, you're trying to have a private conversation, maybe this is a woman you've been trying to get to know, and strangers are coming up to your table and they're interrupting your meal, you don't even know who these people are, and they're asking you for your autograph. Just imagine how frustrating that is. Just imagine too that you've studied for a role, right? You've been on a set, you've dealt with some director you barely know, you've worked on this movie for months, you read the book to prepare for the part, you met with people living the life to prepare for the part, then after months of hard work, just imagine what it must be like to have some critic say, the movie sucked. Or worse yet, that the movie was good except for you and that you sucked. You can imagine some of these celebrities, even though they're smiling for the camera, even though they're pandering to agents and producers and studios, some of these celebrities just want to hit somebody. Just want to let off some steam. Well, 60-plus-year-old Mickey Rourke decided to do just that, right? So Mickey Rourke actually hopped in the ring against a fighter named Elliot Seymour, right? Let me look through my notes because, believe it or not, Mickey Rourke closed the show in the second round. Now, let me say this. Mickey Rourke comes out. Let's analyze the fight here. Right? This is serious stuff. Mickey Rourke comes out in the first round and he's alternating between righty and lefty. Right? Mickey is showing angles. He's walking around the ring. Can't quite say jogging. Let's say he's walking around the ring and he's confusing Elliot Seymour. And the best punch of the first round is a leaping left hook that Mickey throws, right? Mickey is keeping Elliot Seymour guessing throughout that round, right? Mickey's moving just enough so Elliot Seymour, a much younger man, isn't able to track him down. Then we get to the second round, right? And Mickey Rourke, reminiscent of Julio Cesar Chavez, decides he's going to go to the body. Right, so, after Mickey Rourke comes out, you know, moves around the ring a little bit, uh, Mickey's in his 60s, so he does look like he has a little bit of a stamina issue, so at one point he actually leans on the ropes, right, you know, and this is in the second round, so Mickey's going to have to work on that, but Mickey then throws a brutal right to the body, hits Seymour in the ribs, Seymour goes down, that's the first knockdown of the fight. Right When Seymour gets up, Mickey continues the body attack. He immediately jumps in, starts going to the body, and of course, that closes the show. Seymour goes down again, Right, the victim of a withering body attack. Seymour stays down. This fight is over. Now, let me just say, we take Bernard Hopkins seriously. And he's about to turn 50. Right? Mickey Rourke, what else does he have to do? Right? He got the KO, and that KO was early. Right? Mickey's in his 60s, I'll agree. 
this is unusual might come across at first glance as unlikely but let's remember there have been successful older fighters right just look at George Foreman just look at Bernard Hopkins right we thought they were exceptions to the rule well now here's Mickey Ward right you know a little bit older just a little bit than uh, Bernard Hopkins and Mickey showing some power here showing some body punches now let me say this if Mickey wants to continue on in the sport and I don't see any reason why he should right then let me just make a few recommendations uh, first Mickey needs to up his level of competition Right, I mean, um, you know, Elliot Seymour, um, he's a brave guy. But he came into the fight one win, nine losses. Right, you know, some sanctioning bodies are not going to take a win like this seriously. Right, so, Mickey, if you want to be ranked, you need to, you know, fight guys who can pass as contenders. Right. Also, you know, another suggestion for Mickey, and this, this might immediately increase his effectiveness, is when you knock down a man, you know, the rules actually require that you go to a neutral corner, right? The ref can't start the count until you go to a neutral corner. Now, I'm not sure if Mickey Rourke was auditioning to play Jack Dempsey, right? But Mickey is lingering over... Elliot Seymour a lot longer than Jack Dempsey lingered over Gene Tunney back in the day. Right? So, Mick, you, you definitely need to get to the corner a little bit faster. You know, your guy only has 10 seconds to get up. Don't give him more time. Right? Another suggestion is, you know, let's work on stamina. Right? Most of these title fights are 12 rounds. I say that because, of course, in Australia, as Sonny Bill Williams knows, you know, we've had some title fights less than 12 rounds but most title fights are 12 rounds um, having to lean on the ropes in the second round that's that's not a positive sign right you know that gives gamblers like me uh, some hesitation here there there might be a bit of a stamina issue if you're winded you know one minute into the second round so let's hope Mickey gets after it Mickey stop cutting corners in training put down the donut right you you know, you need to work on stamina a little bit. Finally, my last suggestion for Mickey Rourke is that, you know, these fans paid really good money to see a fight, right? Not to see you spend longer than the fight on the ring walk into the ring, right? So my final recommendation for Mickey is to speed up the ring walk a little bit. You know, I was... Looking at my watch as Mickey was coming in the ring, and ooh, let's say that you know the uh, you know minute hand seemed to go around once or 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 so. Uh, Mick, this is boxing. The action takes place in the ring, not before the ring. Right? The judges don't judge the ring entrance; they just judge what happens after the opening bell in the ring. Okay, so um, let's pay attention to Mickey Rourke. He's certainly a fan favorite. He certainly had a lot of success. Um, you know, he did come into this fight with six wins. So, let's pay attention to Mickey Rourke. Understand, too, the world has changed. Older guys are breaking through, right? Um, I would encourage Mick, though, to up his competition if he's going to try to hop in the ring with Bernard Hopkins. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. If there are parts of my analysis that you want to expound upon or if there are specific fighters you want to uh, see Mickey Rourke in the ring against, if there are other 60-something-year-old uh, fighters out there who you feel might be real competition or more substantial competition than Elliot Seymour, or if there are other celebrities out there who you'd like to see get in the ring like Mickey Rourke, Leave those comments for us here in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.